Hi, welcome to Juice Bar. Today we're gonna mix a banana calling. So the banana calling is a variation on the London calling created by Cameron Atfield at Dandelion in London in 2018. The London calling apparently is a modern classic, which I didn't know until uh, today. The banana calling though sounded a bit more interesting and I wanted to use some of my favorite banana liqueur. I was so skeptical about this stuff but since I made the banana boulevardier I became a fan and I tried to incorporate in um, any drink I can really. The recipe might sound a bit similar to what I just did with my sherry lady of the morning but I guess because it doesn't have dry curacao it's not considered a white related variation by a London calling variation. Who cares? Let's mix it. Let's start with a simple syrup and we're gonna need 10 milliliters. I have here my usual simple syrup which is one part white sugar, one part brown sugar and one part water. This stuff is delicious and we're going with 25 milliliters of lemon juice for once I already squeeze it in advance there you go then we're gonna have some fino sherry I have here the teal pepper 10 milliliters and it's perfect because I need to finish this bottle before I go to Italy really soon and this bottle is almost done I guess I'm just gonna drink it like that one sip of fino later and then we have 12.5 milliliter of uh, banana liqueur and I'm using the Leger which is uh, pretty delicious and then I go right below the line of 15 and we finish with the main alcoholic ingredient of our cocktail which is going to be gin a dry gin and I'm going to use 50 milliliters of this TL Pierce gin from uh, Tokyo and I keep falling back to this gin anytime I want something good but they also blends nicely with other ingredients when you don't want something to really stand up I mean some cocktails are just good I mean some gin you just want something with more personality for example if you have a martini you can use any gin you like the gin is gonna come through and it's gonna be the main star of the show in this case I don't want the gin to be the main star of the show I want it to be good and be there but I don't want to overpower the banana or the sherry and this uh, TR Pierce is perfect for that actually this is really good in a martini too but just really good product uh, let's get some ice and let's give this bad boy a shake Let's double strain our chill cocktail glass. Ooh, we are going to the edge today. And there you go, a banana calling. Cheers. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yeah, this is good. I love the interaction between the sherry and the banana liqueur. They are both subtle and in the background. But not really, because they are not in the background. They are the main flavor you feel. The gin is in the background. It's weird, it's kind of the gin is just the flavor of the overall thing. But you don't really notice it. Because the gin sour flavor is just the gin sour flavor. It's what you're expecting. The notes you're not expecting are banana and sherry and they merge really well together in this cocktail. Wow, this is nice and it's not too sweet either. Perfectly balanced. Nice. Wow. Banana calling like this. Another great application for fino sherry, which still I don't enjoy 
neat or, or uh, you know, just like that. I, I don't like it, but any time I mix it in a cocktail, if the recipe is good, it kills it. It tastes really good in a cocktail. Amazingly. Really good. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below, share with anybody you like and don't like. Shake yourself a banana cocktail. Banana man. And hopefully I will see you next time. Cheers. So the banana calling cocktail is called after the London calling cocktail, which is called after the Clash album, the super famous Clash album with the super famous cover. My favorite Clash album will be the Clash though, but that's gonna be for another time because when I was thinking about banana calling, I was thinking about the banana boat song. Damn! which is called Day Ho, most famously sang by Jamaican-American singer Harry Belafonte. So I never knew what the words were, but apparently it's like about this worker that works an overnight shift gathering bananas and is asking the tallyman, the guy that counts banana, to pay him so that he can go home. It's morning. So really a worker song. And I don't think this proletarian roots fits well with the use that some people in my hometown of Orzinovi did with it in the 1960s. So this song came out in the late 50s and in the early 60s when this song was popular in Italy, the tennis club of my town was basically a aristocrat only tennis club. So one glorious day, one guy went and took a dump right in the middle of a tennis club. Just like a fuck you to the aristocrats of the town. And somebody else did a weird Yankovic on the Deho Banana Boat song and changed the lyrics to fix that topical event in eternity. And this incredibly funny parody version replaced the first part with te sesta te sesta te sesta te which means you, it was you, it was you, it was you that took the dump. And the answer to the call was like messo mio chi gestat which is really Italian feel like I don't know did it was not me I don't know who did it. And then the main part of the song was like, uh, Iga Kagat al candle tennis. And then the back voice was the same. Messo mio kiga start. And, and so it was like, they took a dump at their tennis club, but I don't know who did it. All the voice behind was answering. It was really total anarchist thing to do in Orzi movie, my hometown uh, in the 60s. But I'm glad they did it. And I'm glad uh, the news of this song survive until our day. How you be, be spread? There once upon a time there was a brave man that go and took a shit to mess around with the rich people of a community.